In this section, we'll be going over setting up your Sneedjet Titan Series printer to accept incoming serial data via the RS-232 serial communication port on the side. The first thing you'll need to do is design your message to accept the necessary data. So from the main screen, we'll click on Edit. This will bring up a blank page. For this example, we'll be using a check where. So we will start off by inputting the standard text All right, so now we've got net weight in there. And so the next thing that we would want is if the information is coming from a check wire or some other device is going to be a field to house that data. So we're just going to hit text one more time. That's going to put in a object, a text object there. Now we want to add or tell the system that in that object, we're going to be looking for incoming data. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom here and click on variable. In here, we can use external data, which is a spreadsheet or a, a, a tab limited file, we can indicate our start line, current, current line, and tell it where to look for that by browsing the files. Uh, if you don't want to have a start line and end line, you can use print all. Uh, that information will be in a different video on how to download it. But for right now, we're going to be using external UART, which is the serial data. We're going to check that box and then click OK. As you can see now, it says UART data. So we're just going to Go ahead and save that. We'll name that UART. Looks like we already have one, but we'll save right over top of that. And now we're going to load this file. So we'll go to Manage, manage File, select UART. It'll give us a view right there. And then we'll click on Load File. That's going to bring it up here into the main screen where we can see what it should look like and as it updates. Now some other things to, to know, uh, you're going to need an RS-232 to USB adapter. Um, I've got this plugged into a uh, PC and from there we'll be sending the information to the UART data. Um, the Titan series does not come with software. We do have some example software uh, to help get set up or to show that the system is working, uh, but you will need to determine your own terminal device or uh, your PLC or whatever device is going to be sending that information. We do have communication protocols uh, and uh, the other tools necessary for debugging and getting the system up and running. We'll pause for a moment and we'll take a look at some of the debugging, debugging on, and uh, sample software that goes along with it. Now we do have a user manual for the external serial port, uh, all of the necessary information uh, is going to be included in that, such as the setup of the RS-232 port and serial, the serial port. Um, that will help you as well as uh, the necessary settings for your terminal programs and your protocol description. For, these, uh, for this video, we're going to go ahead and use uh, some of the test software to broadcast some of the information to the printer. So the first thing we're going to do is enable the print. The system is set up and ready to go. We will switch over to our software and first thing we want to do is connect. Okay, we are connected and now we're just going to send over some random numbers to check for the update. As you can see, as the unit, uh, as the software sends new random numbers, it does a live update here on the screen. Um, if we have this unit set to automatic, each, send, each receipt will trigger a print. Uh, we also have the ability to send the information and trigger that print via the photo cell. So a couple of different ways to work with it based on your usage and needs. Uh, but if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us, 833-926-3464, and thank you for using Sneed Coding.